My heart really is to see people transformed into the image and likeness of Jesus Christ from glory to glory. Giving up a professional career in football to become a pastor and obeying the calling of God was his greatest accomplishment and a wonderful thing we admire him the most for is the fact that he is willing to lay it down, leave it all to go. He was at the height of his career and uh, he left that to obey the voice of God and become a pastor and uh, start the Well Christian Community. The decision really was made while I was playing professional football. I, I quickly realized that I had a call in my life to, to minister the Word of God. I, and while I was playing pro ball, I was making an investment in my life in this particular area through my studies, through my prayers, through my fellowships, my fellowshipping with other uh, believers, coming under my pastor's tutelage and being developed. So when I, while I was playing, I already knew I have, God is calling me to do this and, and really, this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. I want to help people. I want to bless them. No compromise. He's a non-compromising. He will not compromise the, the word. He will not compromise on his morals, his integrity. Uh, he is a person of integrity. And that's what he will be remembered for, is that he will not compromise. People need more than just money. Uh, sometimes people just need a hug. You know, and you using your temple to wrap your arms around somebody and say, man, you can make it, you can get out of this situation, or let me encourage you, is, is so important. So I think if we can use what we have, and I think people have to stop for a minute, because sometimes they say, well, I don't have the time. You have time for things that you value. And if you value helping people and being a blessing in their life, you'll make time so that you can do so. So I would say their time, your treasure, your talents, and your temple, this is a way that you can, you can help people.